Hey guys, so I finally decided to start making this Appium series and I want to dedicate this video to give uh, reference points to those that uh, don't have Appium installed or not sure what um, IntelliJ is or how to get started with it. They don't have their developer options enabled on their device. Okay, I just want to, like, before I start writing first uh, Hello World program and explaining how Appium works and everything, I just want to make sure that people that are not really familiar and don't have it um, have some reference points. So the first thing is we are going to be using IntelliJ for our development environment. So this is going to be um, Java, heavily related to Java. Okay, this all the tutorials will be in Java, so you should have some hands-on experience with Java to be able to follow me, okay? And if you don't know what IntelliJ is, uh, please go ahead and you know, explore this a little bit. But I do have a video that explains how to get started with it, where to uh, download it from, and how to create your first project. So check out this video, and the links are going to be in the description, so don't uh, don't worry about that. Um, then, also another thing, your phone has to have developer options enabled, and you have to have USB debugging turned on. Okay, otherwise ADB will not see your phone. Um, another thing, you have to have Appium installed, and in this video, it's a 16-minute long video, and I cover the whole process top to bottom of how to install it, how to set your path for all the dependencies um, such as Node.js, .NET Framework, um, Android SDK, uh, everything. So by the if you follow this video like to the T, you should have everything you need installed on your computer and your computer should be set to go. <clears throat> so now that this is out of the way, I want to mention something. Um, if for any reason you enabled your USB debugging and your computer does not see your device, okay, so for example, if you type ADB devices and your computer does not return device devices here and they are actually plugged in, um, there could be two reasons, okay. Um, one is you may need to go into the debug settings and right below USB debugging there will be a button to revoke um, debugging permissions or something like that. Click that, click OK and then try to disable USB debugging and enable it back on and then your phone may ask you whether or not you want to trust this computer and then just say yes and then you know, go back to your terminal and then type this again and see if it if the device appears there. Um, if it doesn't appear, it m could be due to the fact you don't have correct drivers installed on your computer to communicate with your phone. Okay, so you, in that case, you need to take your phone's uh, model number and Google for those drivers and install them on your, co on your computer. Um, another thing is, you know, if if you still, for some reason, the phone is not recognized by ADB, it could be an issue with USB cord itself. So try a different USB cord. If you have uh, more than two, try all of them. Okay, because some some USB cords just don't uh, don't don't get the job done, in my experience. Um, okay, so basically, this video was just an introductory video to. Just get, get everybody on the same page, and in the next video, I will assume that everything that I talked about here is done, and you're ready to, to start this uh, series. So in the next video, we are going to write some scripts. We're going to write a f our first program, Hello World. We're going to start Appium Server. We're going to connect to it. Um, we're going to create an Android driver, and we're going to you know make it, click some buttons, maybe do some scrolling. Um, you know, so, you know, that's it for this video. Make sure to check out my next video. Take care, guys.